If you're interested in learning the new champion Zeri, well here is a guide that you can watch even in Champion Select. So Zeri is an electrifying AD carry who excels at darting around the battlefield, zapping away her enemies and charging up her electric playstyle. Zeri is pretty unique in the way that she plays, as her Q basically replaces her auto attack as you want to charge your auto instead and use that for poke and burst. Zeri is a classic marksman though, so she's pretty squishy and very easy to punish when she's out of cooldowns. Zeri's dash may be very strong, but she's pretty vulnerable without it. So first off, when it comes to your runes, Zeri benefits most from lethal tempo. This allows her to be stronger in duels throughout the game with its extra range and scaling. After that, you want to fill the rest of the precision tree for mana, lifesteal and damage. For your secondary tree, you want to go for sorcery for some added movement and harass. You can mix up your secondary tree depending on the matchup though. For example, biscuits and boots are a great idea versus heavy poke lanes. For your skill order, we definitely advise maxing your Q first. After that, you can max your W or E second, whichever one is better for your lane. In most matchups though, it's going to be E second and your W third. Now we're going to be taking a look at her builds, and there are a ton of crazy options floating around like the APs and the hybrid ones, but here's the main options to go for when playing her as an AD carry. Zeri can actually go for whichever marksman mythic she wants depending on the game and the draft. Gale Force is going to give you more mobility to complement your inbuilt movement speed and your dashing playstyle. This is a great option to go for if you feel like that extra mobility is a higher priority over the other two options. Immortal Shield Bow is definitely the safest option to go for though. The lifeline passive shield it gives you can definitely save your life, and the lifestyle it provides greatly increases your sustain throughout all stages of the game. Kraken Slayer brings true damage to the table, and this is by far the highest and most consistent damage mythic to go for. However, this item offers no defensive capability, so it is a little bit of a riskier option. After your mythic choice, you want to get yourself an Essence Reaver. Due to Zeri's Q, Essence Reaver works exceptionally well with this champion. It gives her consistent burst, and also allows her to avoid running out of mana easier. Runan's Hurricane is simply awesome on this champion. It has amazing synergy with her ultimate and it also applies the Q to her other targets. You can build your stack so quickly and keep your E on such a low cooldown that you can pretty much kite forever. Infinity Edge is brilliant on any AD carry and Zeri is no exception. Tons of crit damage and you'll melt your enemies upon completing this item. Lord Dominic's Regards is a must-have item for AD carries when your opponents have built any armor whatsoever. We definitely recommend getting this item sooner rather than later or else you may struggle to deal any damage, especially if you get behind. Navori Quick Blades is also a uniquely effective item that reduces the cooldown of Zeri's basic abilities. Your E and your Q cooldowns become so low that it really feels abusable. Don't forget about the situational items too. Guardian Angel is great for its revival passive in teamfights, QSS is a must-have if you're against enemies with hard CC, and Bloodthirster is just another solid item to go for, offering huge sustain benefits, as well as an overhealing shield which can actually save your life. So let's cover some matchups now, and against easier lanes you're going to want to look to abuse your enemy by striking them with as many charged up auto attacks as possible, whilst farming and stacking it up with your Q. After expending your charged up auto attack, your enemy will be slowed, meaning you can land your W and other damage alongside it. This is the best way to trade on Zeri and you should be looking to abuse this in easier matchups to line yourself up with a kill lead. Don't forget to try and hit your W over walls too, as it extends the range greatly, meaning you could then look to jump over the wall with your E and burst them down. Once you get your ultimate, you can play a lot more aggressive and win a ton more fights, so don't forget to use it as much as you can, especially in those easier lanes. Against harder matchups though, you're going to need to show a bit more respect and take your trades more efficiently. You can still look to catch out your enemies with your WE combo over walls when you see them out of position though, so don't be afraid to capitalise on this. You'll need to be careful using your E aggressively too, as without it you leave yourself very vulnerable and very open to all ins. Try to focus on farming up with your Q, returning trades with your auto attack and be patient. In terms of synergy, Zeri synergizes extremely well with any supports you can give her shields. Zeri gains movement speed when she receives one, meaning she can just play to her strengths and kite in and out of fights with ease. Champions like Karma who can also contribute to poke are the perfect fit. So in the lane phase it's all about farming with your Q and trading with your empowered auto attacks. You can use your charged autos to farm too if you need to, but it's more optimal if you can use this to abuse your enemies instead. Try and look for opportunities to use your W over Wolves as it will extend the range and become very frustrating to lane against. Your E can be used as a normal dash or over all kinds of terrain. Try to play around this to either chase your enemies down and take them out, or escape without any risk of being punished. It can also be used to roam to nearby fights in the river. Once you've got your ultimate, you can now play far more aggressively. You gain a ton of beneficial stats when it's active and you can extend that duration by fighting enemy champions. Don't be afraid to get stuck in and chase those early team fights around Dragon. When it comes to team fighting, you're going to need to remember that you're an AD carry. Try to position yourself near your teammates and don't get too cocky on your own unless you're super far ahead. Remember those summoner spells and be careful with the use of your dash as it's your main form of escape. 
When it comes to maximizing your damage, you're going to want to spam your Q and charge up auto attacks for your basic damage output. Send your W as often as you can and try to hit it over walls for that extended range. Once you're up close and personal, slap down your ultimate and abuse the buffs it provides and movement speed to kite around, zapping everyone down and enjoying every second of it. With your dash on your E, you can reduce its cooldown by hitting enemy champions with any attacks or abilities. So use it often to dodge incoming threatening damage and get ready to use it again and again throughout fights. Don't be afraid to fight near and over walls too. Your dash can be extended to a seriously long range, meaning you can abuse this to flank, chase or escape throughout all stages of the game. Let's finish off this video with a few quick tips. Zeri's passive allows her to absorb shields from her enemies when she damages them. Make sure you're hitting your target when they've got one up, as not only will it give you a shield, but also grant you movement speed. You can use the alcoves and the walls near the river to abuse your W extended pulse range. This is an amazing way to poke throughout the lane phase and also hit your enemy with the slow, which could lead to an all-in opportunity. Zeri's E can be used to get back from base quicker too, so get used to learning the walls which are best for this to help you get back to lane and back to fights easier. Thanks for checking out this short guide all about the new champion Zeri. Have fun and as always, take care.